So an idea was roaming around in my notion list for quite a long time, which was to make the same game in four different versions of Godot, starting from the first open source build to the latest dev snapshot of Godot 4. So in this video, I am going to do exactly that. So let's start, shall we? The first public version of Godot was released on December 17, 2015. So I went to download it from GitHub, but there was no build. I had to compile the engine from source, which is not difficult, but for some reasons, it was giving some stupid errors. So I downloaded the 1.1 stable build and guess what? It also didn't work because it needed libssl 1.0 and uh, well, I couldn't install it because of stupid neon. Then I tried using the Windows version with Wine, which ran, but it also wasn't working very good. So I just use the first 2.0 release as the replacement for one, cause there shouldn't be much difference, right? Um, right. So after downloading and creating a new project, I got started with creating the game. But wait, what's the game that I was gonna make? I am glad you asked. I was going to be making a game, none other than the epic top-down shooter. So I first created the scenes and all stuff that I usually do in Godot to set up my projects. Then I got started with making the player and its movement. GD script back then wasn't really good than it is right now. I struggled a lot making the movement because the methods that I use right now were either not there or they were used differently. So it took a lot of time to figure out how I was gonna code the movement. Then I just ended up doing this and with that, the movement was done. Then I started to work on the player shooting. I created a bullet scene and attached a script to it, then made it move toward the transform of player and then created or tried to create a function to spawn the bullet, but it wasn't spawning the bullets correctly. I tried a lot of ways, but it just wasn't working. And well, I ran out of time. And this is what I was able to do in that time. Again, I started by creating a new project and all the project setup, then created the player and all that stuff, though this time it was a bit better as the interface of Godot 2 was kinda like it is right now. And this time we had signals, which I didn't really use for this, but still. And the workflow was a lot better than Godot 1. And the main thing is, the code completion in this version was really better than the first one. For the movement this time, I made the movement quite faster than before because I basically used the same method that I used in the first one. And then I started with the player shooting and this time I tried to figure out what I did wrong in the previous one and actually found the problem. I wasn't doing this before so that's why it wasn't working. So after fixing the shooting code, it worked but the rotation was offset it. But who cares, nobody's gonna play the game lol. Then I started making the enemy, I created a scene for it and then wrote the enemy movement code. At first it wasn't working correctly but I eventually fixed it. It was just due to a freaking plus sign, yeah. Then I created the enemy spawner that spawns the enemy and with that the time was up. And this is what I managed to do this time with Godot 2. So now things were starting to get easier as it was Godot 3 time. Which I am a lot familiar with as I have used Godot 3 for 2 years. So I created a new project in it and then created the necessary scenes and all. Then I started creating the player movement and just look how simple and shorter the code is in this version. I mean I could have made the old code better but still everything got so easier in Godot 3. Then it was pew pew time. So I created shooting for the player and this time I also added fire rate which I didn't do for the last two versions. Then I got started with the enemy, created the scene for it and movement and stuff but the thing is the progress was a lot faster and easier this time with Godot 3. This tells that how things have gotten better over time with Godot. At this time, I have had 17 minutes still left and I was already ahead of every other version's progress. After creating the enemy and its movement, I created the enemy spawner which was a really good progress as compared to the previous ones. I still had time left and I kept on working. After the spawner, I made the player bullets kill enemy and also made the enemy kill player. I even got the time to add score and UI into the game. So I created a score system and I was just 18 minutes in. Pretty cool right? Then in the last 10 minutes, I added some glow and bloom and some color corrections. Also changed the background to black and at the end, this is how the game was looking like. Now, it was finally time for my favorite version of Godot, Godot 4.3. So I created a new project in it and got basic project setup done like creating some folders. Then I created the player scene and got started with the movement. For the movement this time, I shortened the code even more using a ternary operator and the movement code now was just three lines. Then I made the player look towards the mouse cursor and well, the movement was done. Then I created the player shooting again using the same method as before 
and this is how the game was looking at this point. After the player shooting was completed, I started making the enemy. First I created its scene and then the movement, which was pretty simple. Then I created the enemy spawner to spawn enemies and blah blah blah, pretty much same stuff as before. Added some post processings like glow and bloom, made the player and enemy die and added the score and UI. And one last thing I added before the timer ended was particles for when the enemy dies. And actually I was in the middle of creating the particles when the timer ended. So I just took some extra minutes to make them work. And finally this is how the game ended up looking like. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, go ahead and do the YouTube thing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.